We're doing the floor in kind of a diamond pattern this time, or angular. How, how do you want to say that? Diagonal. 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 Odd and diagonal. There we go. You can see here, this is <coughs> in there, that's where the bunks are. And then here where all this stuff is piled is that's the bathroom floor, there'll be a wall there. And this is gonna this is gonna come all the way up to the front of the bus. Yeah. That'll go all the way up. There's a lot of stuff in here right now. <coughs> oh that's that and then what can you, what can we say about these seats? Well we got those pretty much made. Uh we just gotta start on the rear facing dinette seats. Now this foam is you cut this foam, glued it back together with a fabric strip on the top, is that all? Yeah. To that? Muslin. That's muslin on there. Muslin. Just to add a little bit of um, a little more strength to the joint. Do you have to do any cutting to get these uh yeah it looks like you had to get these frames to fit? Yeah I had to cut the foam a little. It worked out pretty good though. These chairs don't only have foam under here, but they also have a piece of plywood with cutout and webbing to give it a nice, comfortable feel, kind of like uh, you'd find in a chair in your house. Almost done, but these are the only three little pieces we have left. Oh, probably, probably another box to do it. I think. Maybe. Here's our floor all finished. We've left this corner at the end uh, undone because our, our folding doors um, just, it was hit, and there's a big kink in it, and it doesn't make it a good seal at the top. So this would get rained on if we finished it off. So. We're going to wait until we get our door squared away before we put those last couple boards in, but I think it looks pretty good. It's too bad there's so much stuff in here or we could really get an idea of what it looks like, but coming right along. I think what we'll do now is we'll finish up the other dinette seat. Then, well, it'll probably be uh, between the dinette seat and getting a, a new door. We're not going to have the bifolding doors. I think we're going to do a, a solid door. We're thinking about making one of our own design and as opposed to getting one of the uh, expensive replacement factory doors that was a single door. And I don't think we have the hinges, the really the hinge set up to put those on. We probably have to change a whole bunch of stuff in the dash if you can even do it. I don't know. but. We'll see what we do. Well, I decided to take a little break from the welding and grinding on the dinette seats and a little time in here on the bunk area. Um, decided that I'm going to keep this window. Kind of like the idea of having it. And my wife and I were talking this over and we've decided to not do bunks here. Instead I'm going to put one bed on the bottom uh, in this area and up over the bed 
up in here I'm gonna build some storage space we think that that'll be a lot more functional so I've been working on putting a strapping on the wall in between the strapping is I'm gonna add some more insulation then I'll put some plywood over there and then over that I'll put the paneling on it so I'm just gonna keep working away here here you can see the insulation that I'm putting in. I've got that so it's it's in there nice and tight. It's kind of a, a nice friction fit. Here's all the insulation put in place. Um, the foil doesn't like to stay on this stuff very well. It peeled off on me right there, but on the overall scheme of things, that's not really going to make much difference. Um, this gives me just about an R11. Um, R11 is pretty good for these thin walls. It also recommends you go over this with a half inch wall board. And I'm going to be using a quarter inch plywood. And then the paneling, which is uh, a little thicker than a quarter inch. So that gives me my half inch. So everything's looking good. I'm going to continue the strapping right along the top of this window, just like I did down along the bottom here and you can see that we have some holes we have a series of holes here right here and they run right along top of the wall what these holes are is uh, they're drilled and tapped uh, to accept a bolt and originally MCI used these as a mounting point for the overhead luggage compartments so I'm going to drill holes in my strapping hopefully I'll be able to match those up and I'm going to use those as mounting points for my overhead storage as well also there's a wire comes out through here for uh, overhead lighting it runs on the 24 volt electrical system on the bus and I'm going to be incorporating that as well so I'll also drill a hole so that can come through well I got all the paneling up over the uh, insulation this is um, it's a beaded look paneling uh, it's something I had lying around I'm still going to go over it with a nicer knotty pine but I just wanted to use this up up over the window you can see I drilled those holes and I lined them up fairly good they're close enough so I can get a bolt in there got the wire coming through I uh, just squared the corners so I'm going to round those later when I make my uh, pine window trim we'll, uh, make those corners match. I'm also going to do something for a screen in here. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to manage that one, but we'll come up with something. Um, I went ahead in the salon area and strapped it off, put in the insulation all the way down to the front door. Of course we have the same situation down here uh, with the front door we weren't able to finish the floor. I'm also not able to finish the wall because not only because of the rain but also because of those hinges right there. They get right in the way. So we're getting to the point we're gonna have to do something with that door pretty soon. Well, we were able to get some wainscoting in here today. Uh, starting to look a little better. Couldn't quite come all the way um, as I have the lou on here because I still got to work out how I'm going to mount the wood stove. I want that to be well mounted. So I've got to get my mounting points all taken care of. Um, 
Once that wainscoting on, it doesn't like to come off very well. So I decided to go with wainscoting up in the front of the bus because it's a little fancier than just the V-groove pine. Um, not that it's anything real fancy, but we thought we'd kind of like to break up the front of the bus as opposed to the back of the bus, just to do something a little different. So that's where we are at this point. Um, thanks for watching the updates, and we'll keep you posted.